What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. That's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you my Eagles versus Redskins prediction video. Um, so it's first video after my 100 100 subscribers video. Um, again, I can't thank you enough for that. Um, really enjoyed it. Really felt good to accomplish a goal. So thank you. Um. Speaking of which, um, I was going through my videos today, just going through the channel and looking at stuff, and, uh, I was just looking at the duration of my videos, and some of them are like 10, there were some of them are like 15 minutes longer. Very few of them are 15 or less. Very few. And I was like, wow. I was like, my videos would be like 20, 22, 23, 17, uh, 27, sometimes 29 minutes. And I was like, that, bro, I don't mean to make them that long. It's just this team gets me so riled up, whether excited or angry, that it just takes 29 minutes just to get my point across, if you know what I mean. And sometimes that isn't even enough. But um, I, I do promise to, and I know people are like, I, I'm not watching this long behind video, right? So they may skip around and go whatever like that. So um, I'll try to make them shorter. I'll try to make them 15 minutes or less. I can't make no guarantee. There will be some videos that will probably be 20 minutes or more. But I'll try to make them 15 minutes or less as possible for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> With that being said, Eagles versus Redskins. We are 0-3 in the division. Redskins are coming off a two-game losing streak. And we are coming home back from a three-game losing streak. Um, you know, this season, this season has been one of the most complicated seasons, you know. The way we started off, 3-0, that seems so long ago, and it seems like a joke, you know. I, I, I be at work, and I tell my friend who's an Eagles fan, his name is David, and I tell him, I say, hey, David, I got a joke for you. He'd be like, what? I told him this the other day. I was like, 3-0. and oh. And he was like, what? And I was like, 3-0. and oh. And he was like, what? I'm like, you don't get it, 3-0. and oh. And he's like, oh, okay, I get it now. And I started laughing, and he's like, what's so funny about that? I said, what's funny is we started off 3-0 and oh, thinking that we were going to be something this season, but we really weren't. That's what's so funny, and it seems so long ago now, like, can you, the t September, the talk of September was the Philadelphia Eagles. It was Carson Wentz. It was, man, do you see this kid? Man, do you see this team, man? They just beat the Steelers 34 to 3. My God, they look amazing, bro. They could do something. They could be really special this season. And now, look at us now. I got a notification. If you have a Facebook, <clears throat> you know, sometimes where you have memories that you've posted in the past and they come up from like a couple years ago or from last year so i got a bit so i got a thing from memories to share from last year and last year around this time we had just beaten the patriots right and i was like oh yeah i remember this was a good day but we were five and seven last year at this point when we beat them we were we beat them we became five and seven and i was like i'm so angry that exactly one year ago we were the same exact record as we are right now now although the only difference is the division was trash back then now the cowboys are beefed up and ready to go the redskins look beefed up and ready to go the giants look pretty good and we're just at the bottom of the pack and it's just like ugh, why are we so far behind man and as much as i want to think that deshaun jackson and get himself a couple of other good draft picks and free agency picks you know as much as i think that's going to beef up this team i got a real 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 fear of we're going to be something worse next year. And that's just, maybe that, now that is a lack of faith. But that's only because of what I've seen us go through this year. Hopefully, Lane Johnson has learned his lesson from his four-game suspension. Hopefully, he's learned his lesson from his ten-game suspension. Because when he was here, we were rolling, and we were looking good. The run game was good. Carson was looking good. He wasn't throwing no picks, you know. And then once he left, you know, the defense started attacking our weak side, which was the right side, although... Big V was getting better. Um, they would attack our weak side, and Carson would feel pressure. He's getting sacks, throwing interceptions, and obviously receivers turned back to trash and stuff. And it's like, oh, the defense has figured us out now, you know. Oh, well, I mean, that's because he's a rookie and we don't really change anything up. But, I mean, you look at a team like Dallas, I mean, surely they figured out Dak Prescott, right? But th that's that's my thought, but I would think. But then again, you know, 
people have tape on Tom Brady for years, and yet he's still a four-time Super Bowl champion going on to five, hopefully, or at least to him, you know, I'm not a Patriots fan, but, you know, whatever. Um, it, it just boggles my mind how last year we were five and seven, and now we're five and seven right now, like, it, it, it boggles my mind to come back from the bye, and we're two and seven from that. It, it's 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 crazy. Anyway, we cannot go for the fifth straight time loss against the Redskins. I know that we they've had our number for the past couple of years, and you know I'd really like to get a win. Like we really need a win. Like if we lose another game, I swear this team, this franchise will riot. Like they will riot, man. They would. I'm worried if they lose another game. I'm going to be scared for Carson Wentz. I'm going to be scared for this team, for this franchise, if they lose another game. If they lose this fifth straight time to the Redskins. Because while the Redskins are that good, they still have their problems. You know? But luckily, Jordan Matthews has come back. Actually, both Matthews are coming back. Jordan Matthews and Ryan Matthews, you know? So that should help us out a little bit. Hopefully, they, with Ryan Matthews back, uh, Carson Wentz shouldn't be throwing the ball 60 times. What that tells me is, without Ryan Matthews, uh, Doug Peterson doesn't trust our running backs, which is a shame, really. Uh, but then again, with the talent that Carson Wentz is surrounded with, that, that doesn't really shock me. Um, and speaking of Carson Wentz, uh, offensive coordinator, you know, thinks that the reason why Carson's in his slut, in his rookie wall right now, per se, is because of... The losses, you know, the losses getting him. I swear people are giving him things to say, like, remember, remember to say this, remember to say that, you know, and everything like that. Because there's no way, man. I mean, you lose most of your games coming back. You started off a winner and then you and then you, uh, you know, come back and you losing all of these games. And it's like it takes a toll on you, man. Tom Birdie and I think not once has ever been had a losing season, like not once, you know. So he doesn't. I mean, he's lost the Super Bowl, so I know he knows what losing this was like. But and, and you know, he hasn't always been to the Super Bowl. But I mean, still, gosh darn it! I mean, losing takes its toll on you. So you know what? And people are like, oh, he's surrounded by quarterbacks and 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 Frank Reich and and and, and Doug Peterson. But remember, they weren't very successful quarterbacks. At least I don't think I know Doug Peterson wasn't. I'm not sure about Frank Wright. Uh, you know, like I said, I started watching in 2010. So, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't remember what team he played for off the top of my head. If any of you know, let me know in the comment section, comment section down below. But, um, yeah, man. So, we got the Redskins, you know. Jay Gruden's like, well, there's no talks of playoffs in this thing, man. They are like, what, one, two games back? Man, they'll be fine. It, they're going to be playing to make sure they get back in the playoff race. Like, they're technically still in contention, but... They're in the hunt, but they're at the top of the list. Like, who's Tampa Bay got this week? Tampa Bay's got the Saints. That's a winnable game for Tampa Bay. Um, the Falcons, you know, they've got more winnable game. But I'm not even talking about the Falcons. But um, that they they got the Rams. They got the Rams right next week. I think they got the Rams. They 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 should be good. You know, Tampa Bay got the Saints. That should be a winnable game. But I mean, can you can say the same thing about for the Redskins beating us is like. No small is no hard thing to do. It's not like we're Dallas or whatever. It's not like we're a good team, you know. It's funny. I was watching Arrow today, and he, uh, he said a line, Oliver Queen said a line today that he hasn't said in a minute, and that is, "You have failed this city, Philadelphia Eagles. You have failed this city. You have hurt us for one time too many." And I was watching EDP yesterday, and, and he brought up a very solid point. He said that it's time to riot. Now, he said that we should go on the field and start throwing stuff and start damaging stuff and hurt, you know, uh, Jeffrey Laurie where it hurts his most and it's his pockets. But we don't need to go that far. But I do think as a fan base, we need to send a message to this organization and say we are tired of this. I think we as Eagles fans on Twitter, on YouTube, in the city, around the world, we as Eagles fans, we need to rise up. And this is the time for all of us to come together, not bickering and fighting with each other, but we need to rise up and come together as a fan base. And we need to say Jeffrey Lurie, we need to say Howie Roseman, we need to say Doug Peterson, we need to say Carson Wentz, open your... 
we need to say open your eyes we need to say we are tired of losing we are tired of being a laughing stock we are tired of every year thinking that this is gonna be the year and it turns out to be a big fat disappointment jeffrey i know what you're trying to do you're trying to recreate those andy years and as great as those andy years were we still didn't bring home a super bowl title okay I mean, we had opportunity after opportunity, and we couldn't get it done. And, 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 you know, we're tired of seeing, but we see the future in Carson Wentz. You know, we get this man some help on offense. We beef up that offensive line. We give this man some weapons to throw to. We get this man a run game. Bro, we get this man. And then, you know, we beef up the defense, man. Take some people out who don't fit in this system and put some people in who do with some draft picks and some and some free agency. We will be ready to go because I believe we can do it. I believe we can make a run starting next year. We may not win the whole thing, but year in and year we're improving. We're likely getting better and better and better. Those Andy years that you're trying to recreate, we were in the NFC Championship game like four times straight. We were in that game, and finally, we pushed through, and we made it to the Super Bowl, and we were one interception away from winning that thing. One interception away, and it's horrible to think about it right now, but that's where we were back in 2005, literally 11 years ago. Let's start making that run again. Let's start lifting the fan spirit up because, as I said earlier, we need to rise up. We need to come together as a fan base, and we need to send a message. We need to say we won't tolerate this anymore. People who are tailgating, people who are YouTube makers, people who are just fans in the sea, people who are fans over the world, we need to rise together, and people need to say, wow. People will be inspired. They will say, wow. Do you see this Eagle fan base? They are sending a message. They are saying, we won't stand for this anymore. We want change. We need change. We want to be called champions. That is inspirational. We need to do that. We need to get that message called. We don't need to be destructive. We're already that. We need to be positive. We need to say, we, 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 we need to do something to get this message called. Whether that means Doug Peterson, stop calls play, stop this play calling because there's been atrocious this year, head coach first year or not. We need to make sure Carson Wentz isn't becoming an Eli Manning and leading the league in interceptions because he's been throwing picks like crazy. We need to make sure that this man, Carson Wentz, has a guy that he can rely on, he can throw the ball to, or a guy he can hand the ball off and know he'll run off and get 10 yards. That's what we need. We need to make sure that the defense can stop teams on third down no matter how fast they get the ball out. We know that they're going to come crashing down on their knees. Maybe that's what we need because we, Philadelphia, are a fighting city. And it's a shame that the fans care more than the actual team. It's a shame that the fans care more than an actual, uh, than the actual players themselves and the actual uh, owners and, 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 and staff people. It's a shame. I wish I had my Eagles. Hold on. Let me get something real quick because I'm in the mood now. Let me get something real quick. You see this right here? I know EDP did the same thing, but you see this right here? When people see this right here, they need to think inspiration. When we see a bald eagle, you know what we think about? We think about the United States of America. That's what we think about. We think about, wow, look at that bird. Look at that. It's a beautiful bird. When we, when people see this, when teams see this, they so that's a fighting spirit right there. That is a fighting team. That is a fan base that has come together. That is a team who fights for its city to represent them and say, we will not be your joke, but of your joke. We will not be amateurs anymore. We will not be the laughing stock no more. We will be fighter. We will be. And if we lose, if we don't make it to the Super Bowl, if we don't make it to the playoffs this year or, or next year, we try again. We try to make it next year. We get better. We get better. We fix those holes until we're a threat to even the great Dallas Cowboys. Because we, I refuse to let them recreate that dynasty that they had in the 90s when they won three Super Bowls in four years. I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to let the Giants go off and win another Super Bowl. Let the Redskins go off and win another Super Bowl. Well, that one is a long shot. The Redskins winning the Super Bowl. But I refuse to let them go off and win a Super Bowl. I refuse to let the Seahawks be dominant as they are. I refuse to let any team in the AFC be, uh, 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 better than us you know I, I refuse to let that happen so we as a fan base need to rise up we need to make sure change happens because as i said earlier as they say it as the green arrow says in the show philadelphia you have failed 
this city. The Redskins will not come into our house. They will not embarrass us. They will not beat us for a fifth straight time. They will send. We will send them a message that, yeah, we may not be in the playoffs, but we're going to make sure you're not going to the playoffs. You will lose three straight. We will make sure that Carson Wentz looks like that man he did in those first three, and I'm sorry, the first four games, even though we lost that game, that man still looked, that man still looked great, okay, we, we need to make sure that he looks like that, we, we, we everyone was on that Wentz wagon, Wentz will man, Wentz this, Wentz that, we need to make sure that's who he is again, because once that happens, boy, I'm telling you, we're going to be a scary team, and we're going to be a team that everybody feared, because when they see this eagle, they're going to know, we need to get ready, because here comes the Philadelphia Eagles. Man, I'm inspired. <laughs> so this video was about 15 minutes. I I'm about to end it now. But you basically get my message. We will figure out a way to beat the Redskins. On paper, the Redskins should beat us because they are the better team. But I believe that the Eagles will go out fighting. Because they will not quit like they did in Cincinnati. They will not quit like they did against Green Bay. They will not quit like they did against Seattle. I know Seattle's tough, especially to play in Seattle, but we will not be quitters. We will not be called that. We quit on Chip Kelly last year because what he did and what was horrible. But I refuse to let you quit. I refuse to let Carson quit. I refuse to let this team quit because if we're not quitting, they're not quitting. I mean, technically the season's over, but still, we're going to go down fighting. We will go down fighting. So that has been the video for today. Final score for the game. Let's make this that revenge game. I know our revenge game earlier from last year. For earlier for the Detroit Lions did not go well, but this is the NFC East team, a rival. We will show them. So I'm going something along the lines of 24-21. Because trust me, they will put up points. They will put up points. So I'm going 24-21. That's where I'm going. Hopefully the Eagles can pull out a win. But you know, my heart is telling me we can do this. We will fight. My head is telling me, bro, you know that Redskins team is good, bro. You know they're good. So hopefully they pull it out. That's all we can do is hope. That's all we can do. So that's been the video for today. I'm your boy, Steve the Black. And if you're not and if you're not down with that, I've just got two words for you. Peace out and fly. Eagles fly.